Pardon the interruption, but I'm Roger Huffman. Gabe, Happy New Year. And I'm Gabe Jones. That's right, Roger. It's 2004. Well, Gabe, as you mentioned, it is the year 2004. Four. And we should we thought that we would introduce the new year by doing our top four games, four plays, moments, four whatever, plays, in sports whatever. in the year 2003. Three, not four. Not four, three. but three. Gabe, go ahead. It's my turn first. First, it's my top four plays of the year. As you can see, the wonderful graphic. Of course, a top four play is our wonderful time in Mountaineer Field. I mean, look at this pass by Mr. Weir. Perfect. Right on the money. Right down in this shade. There's Stat Boy. Stat Boy streaking. That's, that's beautiful. Number three, Brian Giles. Look at this. Look at this catch. Beautiful, game. Beautiful. He goes into the fifth row. Come on now. Number two is a wonderful game between Buchanan and little senior night. It was a great time. Listen to the audio. Is it good? It's a caught touchdown! Wow! What a catch made! And who was that? That was Matt Larimore! Wow! If they do not convert North Marion, we'll be victorious. It's gonna be a halfback pass. And there's nobody there! It's over! It's over! Go crazy! Go crazy, everybody! Yes! Go crazy! Yes! I know my number one play. It's from Pittsburgh. Rudy, a.k.a. John Pennington, makes this wonderful catch in the end zone. Look at that. That is just amazing. He's a walk-on. He makes a big catch when, he, when we needed him most against Pittsburgh, and we crushed him on Saturday night. Now it's time for Roger's top four plays. Thanks, Gilly. My top four. We'll start off with the number four play of the year. Top number four? Number four. Whenever we went to the States last year, you got Ricky Sell right there just crossing him up. Oh, that's nasty butter, Rick. It was just a great moment for us. You know, we all went down and had a great time. I think I was down there somewhere. Moving on to number three. Changing of the guard in the NBA. Yes, Michael Jordan was the NBA. Now there's a new face of the NBA, and his name is LeBron James. Oh, no. Look at that, Gabe. It's garbage. It's great. Oh, look at the emotion. On to number two, last year's roller coaster playoff Steeler run. This was game Heinz Field, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Myself, Mr. Hearn, Shane uh, Max, that boy, we were there. Great moment, great game. I was a Ponderosa. Then the following week at Tennessee, hard fought game. We battled, we just kept battling. Great play after great play. There's Heinz Ward in the end zone. Here comes our two point conversion. Between the defenders, awesome. Way to go, drop a co Burris right there. Kyra's pumped up. I was pumped up. Gabe, you were there at my house. Uh, we were yeah. pumped. Then we got this nasty penalty that shouldn't have been called. Garbage. Let's penalty. hear what Bill Kyra has to say about this. On that call, it's ludicrous. My feelings exactly, Bill. Ah, uh, painful. And number one, the Mountaineers storybook season. It began... The week before, right here, this play by Quincy Wilson started what became a seven-game winning streak. And here's the highlight. West Virginia against number three Virginia Tech in Mountaineer Field on Wednesday night. I was there. And here's Travis Garvin streaking down the sidelines. And then a couple months later, whenever we all went down to Mountaineer Field with Mr. Weir to visit Coach Rod, it was just a great moment and what capped a great year in sports for me, Gabe. Great year. It was a great year altogether. Roger, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Maybe 2004 can top it off. That's right, Gabe. Speaking of topping it off, let's top off this show. You ready for the big finish? Let's do it. Let's do it, Gabe. Gabe, the the dog pound, the the Rachel Rowdies, whatever, whatever they're called. Whatever. Where are you they're guys loud. at? Where are they? They need to be loud. Come they on. are not loud. Start coming. Start cheering. Be loud and rowdy. I heard. You know, we have a chance to make this record four and four very soon, and it can be helped 
by the Rachel Rallies if they show up. That's right, Gabe. And, and in order for that to happen, you have to be at the home games and cheer on the Huskies. So come on, Rowdies. Come on, let's do it. Gabe, the NFL playoffs, they're kicking in the high gear. Yes. We're down to eight teams this weekend. After this weekend, we'll be down to the final four. Four? Four. Four. I got a midget page in me. Sorry about that. It's okay. Let's go on now. Who's your final prediction? I said this at the beginning of the year. I'm saying it now. Green Bay, the team of destiny. Brett Favre is on fire. Nobody can stop him right now. He's the best quarterback in the playoffs right now, bar none. New England is the hottest team in the playoffs, bar none. Green Bay, New England, Super Bowl, Houston. Sorry, Miami, you couldn't make it. Who's going to win then, Gabe? I just said the Super Bowl. I don't know who's going to you, win. You're not going to make a prediction on who's going to win? I just said right. Super Bowl. Favre is not the best. Who got MVP? Peyton, Peyton Manning, who threw five touchdowns, along with Steve How many McNair. playoff games has he won his career? One. It doesn't matter, Gabe. One. We're talking about the, the How many future, Super Bowls? The present. None. It, it doesn't matter, Gabe. Philadelphia, they have a dominating defense. They've got the How home field. How many NFC Championship they're, they're the teams have they team. won in the last five years? None. How many have they been to, Gabe? Two. Exactly. That's they're horrible. due. Philadelphia, Tennessee, Super Bowl. We'll see. We will see. Green Bay, New England. Philly, Tennessee. That's all we have for this edition of Pardon the Interruption. Try to do better next time. See you next club day.